Sagittarius, your weekly love tarot reading begins with the High Priestess. You see your person as the Queen of Cups. The relationship has hangman energy and possible outcomes here is Two of Pentacles. Your person is coming in with a Four of Cups. Hermit energy. Emperors, how do you see the relationship? And we have Ten of Wands at the end. Um, Bottom of this deck, you have that King of Cups coming in. So King of Cups, Fire of Water. Someone who's uh, extremely emotional. Oftentimes can be associated with Scorpionic energy, Sagittarius. But I'm going to come back to that uh, King of Cups. Let's jump right into your reading. Uh, we have High Priestess Energy and Four of Cups. This is the energy that you and your person in this connection are coming in with over the next period. High Priestess, you are just on fire with your intuition right now. Sagittarius, it's almost like you have tapped into the main line. Um, everything, oh gosh, it's like I can feel right now that everything you're doing Everything, uh, all your activities, your decisions, your focus, your orientation is thoroughly in the moment and tapped into your intuitive voice. And with a very confident, assured sense of, yes, this is correct, right? So you're coming in very powerful. Your person in this connection has very opposite energy or different energy. They're like being very closed off right now. Okay, let's begin to shuffle your clarifying deck. They're, be, they're very closed off, Four of Cups energy. Um, you know, hmm. They, it's a feeling here that they're kind of like, do I want to mess with where I'm at right now? Do I want to take my focus where I'm at right now emotionally? Do I want to sort of uh, create an opening for you to come into me or do I want to stay closed off? Do I want to maintain what I have and you keep your energy to yourself, right? Um, they're not giving you a whole lot, okay? Or they're certainly not giving anyone who is presenting with that cup of love a whole lot. They're being quite quite closed off. Now, interestingly, as well, Sagittarius, High Priestess is also the keeper of secrets. And so for you, you're also kind of resonating uh, with a feeling of not throwing all your cards on the table. You know what I mean? You're keeping, you're being very reserved with this person. So you're both kind of, hmm, you know, um, you, however, are also tapping into a lot of deeper understanding. So let's begin to get some of your clarifiers out for your, for your person. Let's go there first. We have three of wands. They want more information and an ace of cups. So they're in love with you, right? They're in love with you, but they don't, they're not entirely sure just yet how this is going to pan out. There's some hesitation here. There is a little bit of feeling of... Before I, you know, before I tell my Sagittarius how I truly feel or before I respond to any sort of uh, communication of love, right, though I feel the love, Ace of Cups is there, the opportunity, I want to I want to make sure, you know, Three of Wands, I'm willing to be patient. Your person is being a little bit patient right now. Um, and I, I think they're looking to see signs of... Le you know, are you legitimate? Are you really sure, right? Because with that Ace of Cups, that beautiful outpouring of love there, they are connected to you, right? Sagittarius are very connected. King of Cups, going back to that King of Cups, you may be dealing with somebody who indeed has had their eye on you for a long time in terms of you being their person. Nevertheless, they want to be sure for you. Knight of Cups, you're the one moving forward. Yes, so interesting. Yes, Sagittarius, you're the one coming forward to them. Absolutely. With that Knight of Cups and that Three of Pentacles, you're the one moving forward to them and sort of saying, hey, you know, let's build something together. Let's begin. Three of Pentacles energy. Let's begin to cooperate. Let's begin to sort of build together, right? So absolutely uh, interesting energy. So 
but good, positive, starting off good. There is connection here. There is love here. This may be a new connection. I'm not, I, I don't have any signs that this is a reconciliation of an old connection just yet, but it could be, right? Take the reading as it comes to you, as it resonates for you. But right now, that's the dynamic between the two of you. And so Sagittarius, if you're coming to this reading and you are curious about a particular love connection and why you may not be getting as much communication as you hoped, there this is the issue and of course your intuition is giving you a little bit of an answer as well so for those of you who perhaps are already do know this individual there is a voice inside of you that's giving you a bit more information as to truly why 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 they're being hesitant but here i feel that it's of course the love is there the love is there but they just want a little bit more Proof, you know, information, Queen of Cups and Hermit energy. This is how you both see each other. So you see them as a Queen of Cups and they see you as a Hermit. This may have something to do with why they are not responding so immediately, right? You know that this person is very sensitive, Queen of Cups. They're very, very sensitive. And once they give their heart, they give it. You know, water of water. You know, they want to go deep. They have those desires, but they but this is also somebody who's um who knows how to protect themselves, right? And who knows how to protect their heart from others. They see you as hermit. They see you as somebody who has been very closed off and on your own path. Sagittarius, you are hermit is the card for Virgo and Tarot, but you you know, you can display those tendencies. You know, those tendencies of, you know, just wanting to be free, wanting to be on your own, wanting to, pat, you know, walk your own path, follow your own light, right? Um, you're an incredibly spiritual sign. So, you know, you desire that at times to recharge yourself, etc. And so your person does see you um, in a hermited sense. Uh, you may have been on your own for quite some time, or you may have been walking a particular walk that has kept you in a quite a solitary life. Let's go more about why they see you like, oh, wow. So, oh, my God. What? <laughs> you see me pull the cards, right? I was getting, you know, as I'm saying, let's see more about what they see in you. We have high priestess coming out again, and then your power card, temperance. Sagittarius, that's you and Tarot. So your person is keenly aware of who you are. They know who you are, right? There is no doubt. Uh, this is a deep connection, okay? Whether it's an old connection that's reforging or a brand new connection, this is a deep, like, uh, fundamental connection, this is someone who actually sees you for who you are, Sagittarius, and that's a rare thing in your life. That is a very rare thing, especially for a Sagittarius or anyone who vibrates with heavy Sagittarius energy. Uh, you are one of the most misunderstood signs uh, in the Zodiac in terms of people just not being able to understand where you're coming from, you know, or really to see the different layers that comprise you. And so High Priestess, Temperance, your power card coming in, your person is keenly aware of who you are. And some of those things may be a little bit frightening for them. Yet at the same time, it's exactly those things that they love about you that they absolutely adore about you. But you can be, dif not difficult, but scary to get involved with because you are powerful, you are independent, you are brutally honest to the point where you can really, you know, sometimes your mouth is really a trip, okay? And understand this, I am a Sagittarius, so I am not ever coming for Sagittarius. I love y'all to pieces. I have four planets in Sagittarius. I understand. But y'all can be brutal. I can be brutal. You know, I know myself. You know yourself. And so any person who comes into your life has to be strong. But your biggest joy is somebody coming in who understands you. And this is this person right here. What do you see in them? King of Wands. Woo! 
You might be dealing with another, another fire sign, another Sagittarius. You see them as your king, right? Somebody who can compare, somebody who can um, keep up with you. King of Wands, very independent, very creative, determined, very fiery. Eight of Wands, also Mercury and Sagittarius energy coming in. You see them as somebody, um, I want to say at times, yes, they've, they're, you know, Eight of Wands oftentimes is about quick, quick energy coming in, swiftness, fast communication. But if you take a good look, it's also about uneven communication. You see those wands are actually coming in at different sort of lengths, different degrees. And so sometimes this energy here can be a little bit overwhelming or too much because it's not consistent. It's not necessarily consistent. And so your person is lacking a little bit of consistency with you. And I think that might be something that is... Um, that might be something that that is not bothering you, but that it's clearly you see, you're noticing that, right? Um, they may be with, and again, that comes back to that feeling here. Yes, they have this deep love and they see you as somebody who, they see all of these factors, right? They see that you are quite solitary right now, that you are extremely intuitive. They, they have this kind of awe about you that they see you constantly making, uh, um, maybe saying things or doing things that show you have a deeper insight. And they also can see that you're being quite temperate. You know, this being your card aside, the actual energy of temperance is being even keeled. Not It's balance. Yeah, it's balance, but it's the middle path, right? Which is not so much balance, but a mix or a soup or a recipe or an alchemy, right, of all different ingredients that, that lead you to a place that is uh, the middle path, that is... Um, you know, understanding, give and take, right? So they see all of these things about you and all of these things, some of these things, they affect this person in such a way that sometimes they come in very, very hot to you and sometimes they come in lukewarm or sometimes they come into you in such a way that you, you're not quite sure where their passion is at or where their energy is at. Uh huh. And you are someone who requires... I need to know where you're coming from, right? I don't want to guess about it, right? And so that's there. But King of Wands energy, this person is presenting with a real kind of like fiery, determined energy staring directly at you. They're looking right at you, okay? <clears throat> so this is interesting. There's a, there is a connection here. There is a strong love connection. There's a connection. Um, but it's, it's right now it's in a state of flux to a degree. And yeah, two of pentacles is change in flux. It is in a state of, of flux because it's almost like it hasn't quite, um, solidified down to something concrete just yet. Right. How do you both see the relationship or you, or your role in it? Well, for you, Sagittarius, you have hanged man or hanged one energy, and they have emperor energy. Again, they're presenting with more dominant, masculine, fiery energy. Emperor is the Aries. Some of you may indeed be dealing with the Aries. We will, I will be pulling the zodiac runes. So, but Sagittarius, um, yeah, you you have a certain perspective on this connection. Hangman energy is very interesting card, you know. It's the second two in a way, right? The first two is the high priestess, major arcana. Second two is the twelve, the hanged man. And so it, here we are. We kind of elevate that energy. Now you are you are almost devout. You are devoutly sort of um, dedicated. You're devout, you're dedicated to a particular thing, whether it's an outlook or a purpose or a way of life. And this can go two ways. This can either keep you frozen in time and not really allow you to expand and have inspiration, or it can be a service, a practice in which you are finding grace and you are having sort of understandings and breaking through. 
So it's like, a, a, once again, we come to a little bit of energy of it's down to you, Sagittarius. You know, the viewpoint that you're holding on to, is it something that is, uh, that is providing you expansion ultimately and insight ultimately? Or is it keeping you frozen in such a way that you aren't learning anything, that you are just kind of being stubborn? Okay, your person is coming in and that's how you see this relationship, right? So this, again, it does speak to there being some history here, right? Or uh, it speaks to you having developed a certain outlook about this connection with this person that you're not willing to let go right now. But the choice is mostly about is this outlook you have positive or is it sort of just keeping you uh, status quo, just keeping you where you at, not really allowing you to grow. So let's get some more clarity on that one. Six of swords mm -hmm. and strength. There's your Leo energy coming in. Yeah, I think ultimately inspiration is coming in for you. I think uh, you're changing, right? I think you have been in a space of having certain opinion of this connection, that you were unwilling to change. Um, but recently, whatever's going on with this person is illuminating you. That inspiration around the hangman is coming in and you're choosing now to make a move. You're choosing now to really, I think this is coming up for you, Sagittarius, in this connection. As a result of some kind of communication or activity or things that come in, you do ultimately end up deciding to sort of change your outlook. Six of Swords, right? Swords being the card, the suit for mental, logical thinking, ideas, thoughts, perceptions. You do decide to change and move in your perception uh, and move to a better place, a calmer place, a more harmonious place in your outlook. This is a choice I think that you start to make through your strengths, right? Through your recent uh, changes, whatever changes you've been going on recently in your life. We will look at that in the July reading. The overall, this is a love reading. Uh, so there may be some some changes or things that you've done in your life separately from this connection, strength, energy, where you've dealt with some of your emotions, et cetera, that have allowed you to now, maybe you might be changing your outlook on this person, okay? And again, that speaks to this being maybe um, you have a history here. Right, you have history with them. So Emperor Energy comes in for them. They want to conquer new territory with you. And yes, of course, that territory is love. They have a wish fulfillment here. Once again, it goes back to that Ace of Cups. This person has a deep, deep desire to have a long-term connection with you, a life with you. They know that this is new territory for them. They know that even if this is if this is a new connection, yes. But it, it, even if this is a connection that has history there, they want to come in and they want new territory with you because Aries is all about new, newness, new, um, new beginning, uh, conquering new areas in our lives, new territories in life. Uh, it, that's one of the energies of Emperor, right? Uh, success and and leadership and uh, a surety that you will attain what you desire or what you put your mind to and your work to is also an energy here. This is a divine masculine, right? So it's it's the energy of the divine masculine pushing forth and achieving, right? Failure is not an option. Your person very much has this attitude about this relationship. They they want to take charge here, and they want to take charge here in a in an effort to get their dream. Star energy is all about your ultimate wish and dream for your life and uh, tapping into understanding that and knowing what you need to do to get it. You know, what do you need to fertilize in your life? What do you need to tend to? What do you need to nurture? What do you need to be in touch with in order to manifest your dream? This is very real for your person, very fiery. And at the same time, they want to manifest that in a very real, real sense. This is a great reading for a reconciliation, Sagittarius. It just is. Now you know. Hey, it just is. Possible outcomes here. Two of Pentacles, yes. Your ability to really take it all in. You know, there will be, there's a lot of change here, a lot of physical change, a lot of physical sort of uh, fl flux 
flux, you know, which is constant movement, constant movement happening in your life. Things are constantly going up and down and changing in your life, but you are handling it all just like a juggler. You know, you've got a couple of balls in the air, but you are deftly handling it all. And so this is an energy that's coming in. There is a lot of change here. And again, it speaks to a relationship that has history. Something is changing here about a relationship you have history with. And it's not even talking about the history. Like the history is so in the past and gone and exercised and healed that that is not even coming up here. Like what it was, was it toxic? Wasn't it toxic? Who did what to whom? Like that is just not even boom. It's like almost as if you and your person have both gone past the judgment stage and you're fully in the stage of allowing change to come in, your person resonating with 10 of wands, they're dropping. There, there's, a, there's an ending happening here, right? There's an ending happening here. There's something, and you listen, 10 of wands is a state of being so overburdened with everything, all of the sort of negativity and blockages and limitations and restrictions that we have either built up, assumed, accumulated, um, you know, there. it's like we're carrying it all, right? And it's like the hardest time. It is also a time of breakthrough, right? It's also a time of, yes, in that split second that you're carrying it all and it's really heavy, it's also literally in that split second that you're letting it all go, Right. So your person is letting go of a lot of issues. They themselves are having a huge transformation and it's thoroughly impacting this connection. Mm, mm, mm. King of Cups. You may have been dealing with somebody who was dealing who is in the shadow side of King of Cups, possessive, jealous, destructive, who is now fully coming in to their exalted King of Cups, protective, loving, caring, in control. Nurturing, mm. very nice reading, very nice turnaround. All right, Sagittarius, let, is, let us get into, this is my favorite part sometimes. Let's find out who you might be dealing with. You got zodiac signs out there, different zodiac signs. Now, you may or you may not, okay? Listen, take it as it comes. But the first one out is an Aries. Some of y'all might be dealing with your sister sign or brother sign, Aries. And you know how they are. That's the emperor right there stepping up, okay? And some of you are dealing with Taurus. Stop. You may have Taurus in your chart. Okay. You may be dealing with a Taurus. They may have Taurus in their chart. However, that energy presents itself. And some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn. All right. So you've got two Earth energy and a fire. That's nice. You may have that energy in your chart. The person may have energy in their chart. They may not, as I said. Let's go ahead and pull out your oracle cards. Sound of in the comments if you're relating to this, if you resonate with this. Um, if it's not for you, then it's not for you. It's not for you. It's for somebody else. It's for somebody else in this collective, right? But this is a nice read. This is a nice read. And this is energy that should be playing out over the next couple of weeks right could be a week to two weeks if you resonate okay what we'll flipped over spirit of the witch magic psychic sorcery all right god it's so high it's, it's a beautiful day today though I, I love it all right what we got spirit of the shoreline calm tranquil relaxing yes i do have a feeling you know you're moving towards calmer waters with this relationship it may have been a very sort of oh now, I'm not going to take those. There's too many flipped over. It may have been a very sort of uh, tumultuous connection before. There may have been some history there of that. But Spirit of the Shoreline and you moving toward that calm water with that Six of Swords, it just feels like calm days ahead. What's And Spirit of the Angel, guidance, blessings, answered prayers. Some of you have really been thinking about this happening, wishing for it to happen, daydreaming about it and you know as a Sagittarius yeah you may have been holding on to of course being realistic and trying to be grounded but you know you like to daydream and some of you have hoped and wished that perhaps something would change in this connection um because there is deep love here right there's deep love and connection 
High Priest is coming out twice. Very rare. She's such a rare energy in my reading. She's so careful. As the Keeper of Secrets, she often doesn't show her face in tarot readings, you know? And so to show up twice, mm. the Eagle ooh, and the Frog. Wow. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot for you, Sagittarius, because we have air and water, the eagle master of sort of uh, pinpointing exactly the objective, right? The eagle has that, what we call, you know, the eagle eye, your eagle eye, you know, being an air energy animal spirit talking about the mental, your ability to focus right now is intense, your focus is off the chart. And in this connection, you also are remaining very focused, very aware, and you're bringing your A game in a lot of ways, Sagittarius. Whatever may have, whatever decisions, acti actions, or behaviors you had in the past with this connection, you're not sort of bringing that now. You're bring, you've are you resonated up anyway in and of yourself, right? And that's for another reading. And you're bringing your A game, frog energy, water. There's there's a cleansing happening here. The frog brings the waters. You know, the frog loves being in a in a rainstorm. You know, let the water pour down and just wash you clean. And that's the energy that I felt in terms of anything that had happened before here. It's not even like we are investigating that, trying to see, like I said, all of that, picking it apart. It's like, just let the water run. Let the emotions run. Let the time happen and just let it all get washed away. Let it all get cleansed and just start from fresh. And that's an energy that I feel here. Sagittarius, this is your weekly love tarot reading. Mm, 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 mm. I love you guys so much. I love this reading. What can I say? You know, if you enjoy this, claim this reading. Hit the like button. All right. Um, take part in this community that we have here, the Bow and Arrow Tarot community. You can subscribe. You don't have to subscribe. You can just hit the notification and get notified. You know, it's your choice. I just hope that you got some insight out of this. I love that you came here to join me and I wish you and everyone in your life, love, life, and happiness. And I'll see you guys next week for your weekly love tarot reading. Bye-bye, Sagittarius.